Are you trying to lose weight? Do you get frustrated when you lose a few pounds and then suddenly find you've put them back on again? What we drink is as equally important as what we eat. In today's video we will go through some top tips for you. If you stay until the end you will discover a faster way to lose weight. Let's go. Start off your day with a fresh, clean glass of water. As soon as you get up in the morning, drink one down. This will help your body to get going because it won't be fighting through dehydration. Also, after you drink a glass of water you won't need to eat such a large breakfast. A glass of water wakes up all the digestive juices in your body and gets it well lubricated. You can always have your morning coffee or tea, but be sure to have a glass of water afterwards. Caffeine dehydrates you and you want to ward off dehydration. Drink a glass of water before you sit down to eat. Water will naturally make you feel fuller so you don't have to eat as much food. Have a glass of water while you eat as well. Take a drink after each bite and you will feel full more quickly so you can leave the table feeling satisfied without feeling bloated. Drinking water while you eat will also help your food to settle more quickly, which also helps you to feel full faster. Do your best to stay away from soda. All sodas are sweetened with lots of sugar. The more you can cut out of your diet the better. Also, diet soda is still soda. It may not have as much sugar, but it has other chemicals and components that are not good for your body either. If you drink a soda, counteract it with a glass of water. Remember, caffeine dehydrates you as well. Decaffeinated sodas still have caffeine in small amounts as well and just as much sugar, so they are not much healthier either. Fruit juice isn't as healthy as most people think either. Juice actually has a lot of sugar in it as well. If you are craving a glass of juice, drink fresh fruit juice instead of juice that has artificial flavors and coloring. It is even better if you can make your own fruit juice. Just be sure not to add too much sugar which adds to the calories. Instead of fruit juice, eat more fruit. Fruit provides your body with much needed fiber as well as vitamins. Go easy on the tea and coffee. They are pretty much harmless if you don't add a lot of cream and sugar to them. It is the cream and sugar that becomes fattening. Think of it this way, when you have a cup of coffee or tea with cream and two cubes of sugar, you are essentially eating a piece of chocolate cake every time. Now think of how many pieces of cake you are eating when you have a venti Starbucks latte. If you must have your tea and coffee, try to drink it black. Black tea or coffee actually has health benefits to it as long as you counteract the caffeine in your body with a nice big glass of water. Caffeine is also not good for you because it affects functions in your body, like your metabolism. Another type of tea that you can drink freely is green tea. Green tea has been used as a medicine in China for over 4,000 years. It aids the digestive system and can help ease an overly full stomach and it has been linked to a reduction in cancer risk. If you can say no to alcohol, then that is best. Alcohol beverages are not exactly good for you, although a glass of red wine does have heart benefits, most are just fattening. Beer is especially fattening. Cocktails are fattening depending on what they are made of. For instance, whiskey and coke. The whiskey may not be fattening, but the coke definitely is. Plus, after a few drinks most people get the munchies and when you're feeling a little inebriated and hungry you won't be able to make rational decisions regarding your diet and it's usually late at night, just before you pass out from a night of drinking, that you overeat. The overall combination is just not a good one. If you must have alcohol, try dry wine. Dry wine is better than your sweet wines, because sweet wines have more sugar. Dry wines have sugar, but most of it has been fermented away into alcohol and from a weight-gaining perspective, dry is better. Another word on coffee, that is not necessarily bad, but more interesting than anything. Some people have reported that when they drank black coffee before exercising, they lost more weight. There's no scientific proof to back this, but nutritionists believe it may be caused by the body being forced to depend on fat for fuel. Hey, it's worth trying if you can stand black coffee. Just remember to drink plenty of water during your exercise. Eat fresh fruit and vegetables that have high water content. These are foods like tomatoes, watermelons, cantaloupe, kiwi, grapes, you get the idea. All of those fresh and flavorful juicy fruits and veggies are good for you. 
These items contain about 90-95% to water, so you can eat a lot of these and they will fill you up without adding on the pounds. Veggies are your friends when it comes to shedding pounds. There are tons of options and you may even want to try some you haven't had before. The leafy green varieties are the best and you always want to work in a salad when you can. Salads are packed with nutrients as long as you don't pour too much dressing on and load them with too much cheese. The leafy greens also have a lot of natural water. Be intelligent about what you eat. Don't eat just to eat. Animals eat on instinct, people eat when they know their body really needs it. Don't be an impulse eater. Watch everything you consume from the food itself to what you top it with. Garnishments and condiments can sabotage a healthy meal because they are typically high in fat. Set meal times and stick to them. Try to have your meals at specific times and eat them at that time. An eating pattern will help you to control what you eat and when you eat it. Also, it really is better to have five small meals a day rather than just one or two huge meals. Just eating once a day makes your body feel as though it is starving, which packs on fat instead of using it as fuel. Also, don't wait until you're starving to eat. This only makes you overeat until you're stuffed. If you would like to fast track your weight loss and save the frustration then click the first link in the description. We hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.